Right with a Fox 23 exclusive connected to the deadly hostage situation in East Tulsa. Good evening, I'm Shay Rozzi. Sarah is on assignment. Tonight, Tulsa police are apologizing for raiding the wrong home during the chaos, trying to save a hostage's life. A family member in that wrong home was even in handcuffs at one point. Fox 23's John Acebus joins us live. John, walk us through all this. Well, there were multiple different calls on that initial sequence. One of the first calls that police arrived to was a man who had been shot. We've now learned that man was the brother of the hostage victim. The second call was the stabbing call. That was the hostage victim, Rihanna Moya. It was very chaotic for police to sort through and very chaotic for one family who lives on 73rd Street where all of those police converged. They saw the presence build, but never thought police would be in their home. Before all of 73rd Street looked like this, Preston Nataro says he was laying in bed. And I just hear shooting outside and stuff, and then uh, my mom and them were saying that there was a guy shooting outside and stuff. Captain Richard Muhlenberg says those bullets were intended for a firefighter who was talking to the suspect and a child outside who told him that his mother was bleeding. He pulled the gun out and actually started shooting at the fire personnel that were there, uh, the firefighters. So they scooped up the kid and took off running. Muhlenberg says an officer arrived around the same time and was met with bullets, one hitting his wrist. The officer kind of stayed in the fight and the guy retreated into the house at that point. But it wasn't the house where this family lived who saw police presence build soon after. The closer they got to our house, us being the next door neighbors, why of course we just thought, well, okay, they're moving in on him. Muhlenberg says they did too after speaking with a shaken up child and initial responders. It's also a kid. You know, we're doing the best we can. So so for us, every situation is dynamic and every situation is difficult. So what is the right thing to do? Well, that's really subjective. He says police gathered, acting quickly, and entered the home next door. Ruby says she was caught off guard. No, I had already let him know he's, you know, he's 17, with whatever. You know, my son's in there. Mm -hmm. And I done told them their names, you know, and so forth. They still was coming at them, obviously, like, you know, we're all the, the shooters. Preston and his mother, Ruby, were shaken up. Preston says his stepdad was in handcuffs for a brief amount of time before police realized what happened. Then they officially got him out of his handcuffs and told us just to stay put and everything. Muhlenberg says anyone would have been shaken up like this family was, but their focus was the Moya family. Hostage rescue is the culmination of all the variables that you have there, and you make a decision, okay, we're going to do this because our life is you know, less important than this victim inside. So we're gonna go try to rescue somebody. Sadly, after negotiating for hours, police shot the suspect and found Moya deceased. Police, victims of the shooting, and a family next door caught in the confusion of a tragic day. Even speaking with that family again today, they're still very upset about this and do want to continue to press police for more answers on why the wrong address uh, was provided. Now, according to the Fourth Amendment in the Constitution, you are protected from warrantless searches unless for extension circumstances or a circumstance needs dire or immediate attention. That's why police say they went in there and uh, tried to save the life they thought was in there of Rihanna Moya. Covering news that matters, I'm John Acebus, Fox 23 News.